other people as well, have shown pretty uh, comprehensively an improvement in yield. Peter, what are the most important aspects to take into consideration when with planning? Uh, well, the really key thing, Stu, really like for any irrigation system, it's the soils. You've got to get the soils understood, not just at the surface but below the surface. You need a very good soil survey, and for um, drip in particular, that's much more essential. Uh, the other big one is the topography. You need to know the undulations, the uh, the layout of the land whether there's various obstacles in the way, all that sort of stuff, so that things can be properly planned for. They're the key things. And then following that is um, understanding what crops you're going to be growing and understanding the water requirements so the system can be designed to cater for that. Um, yeah, they're the basics that people need to concentrate on. Why is it so important with drip to do very good planning? Uh, well, with drip, mm. particularly subsurface drip, it's a high investment, it's about double the cost of most other systems on a per hectare basis, so generally, and you stick it in the ground, and once it's in, very hard to change. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't got it right from the start, you're stuck with it. So most important to get it right from the, from the start if you can. Do you see that very often with some growers? Uh, fortunately, less often these days, but yes, it has in the past, uh, unfortunately, been quite a few things where people have cut corners. Uh, you see... Uh, spacings that are too wide and you can see crops that have got strips in them, you see crops that are not performing very well. Uh, guys who've skimped on the filters have uh, always trying to attend to the filter or they have problems with maintenance, all that sort of thing. Yeah, unfortunately there's a bit of that round because everyone wants to cut corners, cut costs, but it's with drip, not the best thing. Okay, what about the, the future of drip, subsurface drip? What's the potential there, do you think, for water use savings? Yeah, look, well, there's very good savings, I think, for subsurface drip. Um, on an average kind of thing, guys are showing about a 30% reduction. Uh, other guys, depending on the system they're coming from, even more than that. I think there's quite a future, but I don't think it's going to be a wholesale takeover, simply because it is fairly expensive and it is very crop specific. So it'll be more, um, I think guys really know what they want to do in a bit of a niche market and maybe guys who are really struggling with enough water they might go for that because they can get great gains out of it and it makes it uh, worthwhile for them.